time to fit a formatted and tested hard drive, I think. Let's take it out of its packaging. There we go. What have we got here? Oh, it's actually an IBM one. Uh, IBM 1440 megabytes. So, ah, I don't know if you can see. That's not going to quite fit in that caddy properly, is it? I think it goes the other way around anyway. Like, yeah, there you go. It goes that way. It's not going to fit in because you've got this spacer in for the smaller hard drive. So I'm just going to remove it. Luckily, the glue is a bit rubbish. So that goes in there. Look at that. There we go. Look at that. That's perfect now. Can you see that? There we go. And I suppose you ought to put this on. Make sure the notch matches up. There we go. Put the lid on. Get rid of that. Goes in that way. Come on. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Push it in. Now I've put a working hard drive in. Let's see if we can get Windows 98 Second Edition installed. There we go, I've got my trusty Windows 98 2nd edition boot disk. Let's stick it in. Don't even know if the floppy drive works yet, let alone the optical. I've already put the uh, operating system disk in just to save some time. I know it ejects, whether it can read it or not. Who knows? Let's find out. Oh, single post beep, that's got to be good. I can hear it reading the floppy disk. Yep, let's start computer with CD-ROM support. Because we're going to need that if we want to read the CD-ROM. Ah, there we go. The CD-ROM drive has been detected and it's been given the drive letter of D. So that's good. Um, let's try C drive. The first thing we need to do is run the fixed disk program called FDisk. What this will do, this will partition or split up the hard disk um, and then allow us to format it. Once we've done that, we can then install the operating system. So it's now asking me, do I want to enable large disk support? Yes, please. Right, let's have a four, uh, one, two, three, four, four, four display partition information. Let's have a look at that. Yep, no partitions defined. So I press escape to continue. Um, it's already got one, which is create a DOS partition. Um, or logical drive. Let's go for one again, a primary DOS partition. And there we go, it's whizzing away 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100%. Do you wish to use the maximum size available for the primary DOS partition and make it active? Yes, please. Right, there we go, press escape to exit F disk. Now we need to turn it off and back on again. Bit of a slow old process putting in a replacement hard drive. Especially when it's not formatted. Start computer with CD-ROM support, please. Now that we've created the partition, it's time to format the drive. So we type format C colon press enter proceed with the format yes please and there we go zero percent all we've got to do now is wait there we go it's formatted it's asking us to give a label of the disk so i'm going to call it um yeah just win 98 that'll do right so if i go to c drive so i'm typing uh, c colon and pressing enter get a directory listing up by pressing uh, DIR and then the enter key. Right, there we go, it's all, all formatted, ready to go. Now, the way I used to install Windows 98 and the way I'm going to do it now is to actually speed up the process by copying the installation files from the CD to the hard drive. Okay, so I'm going to type the command MD, which is make directory, and I'm going to type in WIN S-T-A-L-L, Winstall. Okay, so I've now created a directory 
uh, uh, sorry, yeah, a directory called uh, WinStore if I do a DIR. There you go. So if I do CD Win Store, let's type it properly. There we go. Nothing in there yet. Right, drive D is not the optical drive, so therefore it must be E. Let's have a look. Oh, it's not giving us a response straight away, so that's a good sign. Yeah, we go. It's spinning the disk up. Right, here's the contents of the Windows 98 installation disk. And there's a folder in there called Win98. So I'm going to change directory into there by typing CD for change directory. And then Win98, pressing the Enter key, DAR to get a directory listing. There are all the files I need. Okay, so I'm now going to go copy, asterisk, start, there we go, asterisk, start, asterisk, to C colon, not backslash, because I've already changed directory into the Winstall folder, or directory, I keep saying folder, it's not, that's more modern, <laughs> we're still with directories with this, so let's press enter, that's now going to start copying all these files across, all the files are copied across, so we type C colon, and enter, see I'm already back in that Winstall uh, directory where I left it, if I do a DIR, there's all the files, so what I can do now is eject the floppy disk, because we don't want it to reboot and um, boot from the floppy disk, um, and then type setup. Setup is now going to perform a routine check, press enter to continue. We're now installing Windows 98 second edition. There we go, no errors. Exit. Copying files needed for the Windows setup. Here we go. Now that's a good start. The mouse is working. Yep, CKL on backslash Windows. That's the installation directory that I want. So let's press enter. Yep, there we go. I'm going to choose the portable uh, setup options because, well, I want a laptop and it's portable. Oops, pressing the wrong button there. There we go. Pressing the middle button to the left. Press next to continue. Um, no, I'm going to do the most uh, common components. Computer name. Um, let's call it IBM 390. Yep, that'll do. United States? No, United Kingdom. It's going to create a startup disk. Okay, let's pop that one back in. It'll overwrite it. I'll be fine. Yep, press enter to start the process. There we go, remove the disk, press OK, Oops. keep pressing that middle mouse button. Please sit back and relax whilst Windows 98 installs on your computer. Oh, that looks good. Getting ready to run Windows for the first time? Wow! Name, let's have um, NE Body, NE Company, click on Next. Yeah, read all of that. Nobody ever does. Right, now you need to look away on this one. There we go, press finish to start Windows 98 look. Or carry on starting it rather. It's now asking if I'm using a PC card or PC MCIA card um, for a device that I'm installing Windows from, which I'm not, so I'm going to leave it as no and press next. Next again, finish.
It's GMT, of course, isn't it? Just going to press enter here, there we go. And there we go, Windows 98, second edition, has now been installed. What I need to do now is start installing all the drivers. Right, here's a disc that's got the drivers on. Let's eject the optical drive. There we go. There they are. To make it a bit easier, I'm going to copy them to the desktop. I think the first driver I shall install is the video one, like make it a bit easier to see. There it is. It's extracted it. Let's take a look. Right. Copy that file location because what I've got to do now is go into um, control panel, display, settings, advanced, adapter change next have disk paste where i just put that yep there we go it's found it well let's see if it's installed it I don't know if you can see that, the screen's moving up and down as I uh, move up and down, scrolling. Um, yeah, the resolution I've picked, clearly, it's not happy with. Let's try 800 by 600 at true colour. That's better, look. Yeah, 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 go away. Right, let's get some audio. This one we have a setup file, it doesn't auto run, hence why I had to copy that extraction folder. Make it a bit easier. Do you want to restart? Yeah, go on. If it's worked, well no, because we'll hear the Windows 98 music. Well, there you go. It works.